Well fam, I haven't been on YouTube quite as much recently the last few days. I know, I know you guys are probably like missing me and all that, but have a lot of stuff going on, a lot of big changes, a lot of new changes, and hopefully you guys are just as excited as I am once you guys find out what these big changes are. So a lot of you guys know that we've been doing giveaways since about 43-ish thousand subscribers with trucks. Thanks for the car alarm. We've been doing truck giveaways for quite a while now. We've given away four trucks until this one, which we now have our winner for this truck. So stay tuned. And then this is gonna be our fifth truck giveaway. But what we haven't always had is a lot of options on our merch store. Now we've had a decent amount for what we could hold inventory in in our house, but now it's time to go bigger, it's time to do more, time to go to that next level and really provide um, more value and just more availability to the people who are participating in these giveaways because you guys mean a lot to us, you guys make um, a lot of stuff that we do possible, and of course, you know, just the work that we put into what we do to even get our name out there, but we appreciate all of your guys' support and we wanted to do more for you guys in terms of availability of options and things to pick from and you know things to purchase when you go to the store. So it's not like this is what we get. I guess if we want to enter, we have to buy this, which we might not really want, but or we just don't enter at all. But now, happy to announce that we have a whole new lineup on the merch store. Tons of different t-shirts, tons of different colors, tons of different hoodies and different colors and hats and like their embroidery hats and um, just all sorts of stuff. A whole bunch of new options, graphics, um, colors, sizes, everything. I mean, it's crazy. And we also have the LMP shop shirts back. We have all sorts of hoodies. I mean, it's just crazy. It's super cool. And so when we do our next giveaway, coming very soon, you guys are gonna hear about the big announcement. You guys now have a whole boatload of stuff to choose from and you guys can really get something that you really, really want. The topic of this video is a few different things. A, probably going to be trying to announce the winner for this truck if we can get that done today. And um, those oil drips are not from the Duramax, those are from her truck when it was parked over here. But anyways, that hopefully we can get done in this video and then also a topic that I've been wanting to talk about, I just haven't gotten around to it yet, and that is the topic of a brand new 2019 Ram 3500. Got a little Rosine over here, she ain't so little anymore. I know you can hear me. This winter's gonna be stoked to get this Duramax. Oh my gosh, it, it's so pretty. for you of the Dooley's new setup. It's going to be freaking huge, fam. Not the new Dooley that I want to buy. I'm talking the, the 2002 24 valve. We've even got the rears for the Dooley's in the back seat. So, yeah. I'm going to run these over to the shop, get these dropped off. Do I have a surprise for you? Holy smoke. What is up guys? So here's here's the thing. We're back here with the Longhorn and it's sitting exactly where it was sitting when I first brought it home and I made the first video with this truck revealing my dream truck, the 2018 and all that stuff. When I bought that truck, I was going to use it as a daily driver and then really quick I decided, you know what, maybe I should do it in a giveaway, just see how people like it. Maybe people might like a newer truck more. That was not really so much the case because 50% of the people that entered that giveaway told me they wanted the first gen, so therefore I ended up keeping this truck. Fourth gen didn't even end up getting picked. Am I sad about that? Not really, but I wasn't really planning on keeping the truck. 
Therefore, I was kind of in shock when I heard that I was gonna get to keep it. And so then I was like, okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna build the truck, make some content with it, make it cool. And it'll be like a piece of the channel, at least until the new trucks come out, which I didn't realize exactly when that was gonna be when I bought this six months ago. I kind of had, you know, people were saying rumors and what they might look like, what they're gonna be, all this stuff. But nobody really knew when and nobody really knew exactly what the fifth gens were gonna look like. Therefore, I just went with this truck because I liked it and I'm like, you know, I'm just gonna like love this truck, build it, do some fun stuff with it. It'd be cool, just drive it, have fun with it. And that's what I did. And this truck is a beautiful truck. There's nothing wrong with the truck. And I just want you guys to know that it's not because, oh, I'm unhappy with this truck and I just need to have something new because, oh, it's six months. I bought this thing, it's too outdated. That's not what I'm talking about. The truck's a beautiful truck. I would drive this truck forever if it was a situation where I'm just buying a truck because I like it and I'm gonna drive it 10 years and then get a new one. But being that I buy and build trucks to make content, to share on social media, to you know promote a brand, it's a little bit of a different situation. So I know there's gonna be people out there who disagree and go, oh, well, my great grandpa told me that it's a bad choice to buy a new vehicle because of depreciation, all the stuff and blah, blah, blah. Yes, for the most part, it makes sense. But in my situation, it doesn't really make sense. And what I mean by that is that I buy trucks and I build trucks to promote a business and a brand. Therefore, whatever I have to do in terms of a truck or automotive stuff in my area to increase awareness of my channel, awareness of my brand, awareness of the business, and for the fans, that's what I do because that's how you grow awareness. That's how you get noticed. That's how you go bigger. That being said, that's the only reason why I would trade this truck in. It's not because I'm unhappy with it, because this truck is freaking awesome and I love it. Really nothing I would change other than maybe headlights, color match some stuff, and that's about it. But otherwise, it's a perfect truck. I love it. And I posted on my Instagram, which go to my Instagram, I'll leave it right here. I told people if I got 10,000 likes on this one post, and it could be either of the two posts that I set it on, I would take this truck and I would trade it in this week. So when you see this video today, which is the day I'm making it, I said I would trade this truck in this week if I get 10,000 likes on either of those two posts that I set it under. One of them was at like 8,000 likes, so it was really close. Go to my Instagram, and if it gets to 10,000 likes, I'll trade this truck in this week. If it doesn't get 10,000 likes, I might have to think about it a little bit more. If I did trade it in, my only questions now would be, do I go dually or do I not go dually? And I want you guys to help me out down in the comments below what you guys think. Do I need a dually? No, I don't haul anything. What's gonna get more attention? What's gonna get more people thinking and talking and tagging friends and sharing posts and pictures on social media and stuff like that? Because this is why I do what I do. It's to grow a business. And so really it's kind of all about building something cool that people like that is eye-catching and it's just something that has people's interest. That's the whole point of it. So I'm just super excited to be able to possibly do this fifth gen build and I am just so stoked and I hope you guys are too. But you also have to keep in mind, this truck is not gonna be a bone stock sitting there looking truck. It's gonna be getting some suspension stuff. It's gonna be getting some wheels and tires. It's gonna be getting some under the hood stuff possibly. So you also have to keep all that stuff in mind. That being said, let's get another good look around this truck. And I will make another video around the truck if I actually do go and trade it in here this week. And then we've also got some uh, shoes back here for the Dually, and I'm not going to show you or reveal them, but just look at the back. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my goodness! Yeah, that's right. Negative 265 is the offset on these bad boys. That's the little sneak peek of the wheel and tire setup for the dually. But since they're going to actually be on the dually within probably the next couple of videos, I'm not going to reveal the full effect of them in terms of like what they actually look like on the other side and all that stuff because they're freaking awesome. They're really cool. So I'm super stoked and it's gonna look wicked on the 24 valve dually truck, which if you haven't heard, that's the new build too. So we would have the fifth gen, the 24 valve dually. We've got some stuff to do on Reagan's truck here coming up. I mean, we've got a lot of stuff going on here and I don't want anybody to miss out. So if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button, leave likes on this video. I tried to get across some points that were really important and stuff that we had to talk about because we've got some big changes we're trying to make. Okay, so we wanna go with the fifth gen. Let me know on that. We've got some stuff coming for the dually. Let me know on that as well. And remember, tell me, dually or not dually on the fifth gen, and should I go get one this week or should I not? Comment down below. We do have a Duramax winner drawn, and tomorrow we're going to be giving him a call, and you're gonna find out 
exactly which one of you it is. So thank you guys so much for all the love and support. You guys are awesome. Leave a fat thumbs up on this video. Comment down below. Subscribe if you're new. Join the team. Join the family. And I will catch you in the next video. Peace.